Since about 2012, the Nest Learning Thermostat has been promising energy savings, money in your pocket, and easy smart home control. Now owned by Google and onto its third generation, the latest model adds a few additional features. So do they make this pricey thermostat worthwhile? I'm Erin from TechGadgetsCanada.com for Best Buy Canada's blog, and I will tell you everything you need to know about the third generation Nest Learning Thermostat, including how it works, what the setup is like, and whether it's actually bringing me any tangible benefits. An early heads up that if you end up liking this video and finding it helpful to please hit that like button and give us a sub, because it does help me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, and learn from. When you get the Nest Learning Thermostat, you get the thermostat unit, which is a sexy looking circular faceplate with the brains inside, plus the base where your wires are going to go into. There's a couple of options for wall mounting and included, and screws and a screwdriver are in there as well. Let me start off by saying I have tried to install plenty of smart thermostats in my home, and I have only had success with one. This one. My home and my furnace are older and use a two-wire furnace connection, which is incompatible apparently with a lot of newer thermostats. The Nest here is the only one I've been able to get connected. If you follow the instructions inside the Nest app, the installation is truly easy. Essentially, all you need to do is take note of where your wires are connected now to your existing thermostat, and then transfer that over to the Nest base. With your wires connected, just pop the faceplate on and it's going to boot up. I had this thing installed in about five minutes and I could not be more thrilled. Let's dig into what the Nest Learning Thermostat promises to do. One of the reasons why the Nest Thermostat has become so popular is thanks to its auto scheduling feature that learns your daily cooling and heating habits and then will create a schedule for you. You're welcome to make changes if it doesn't get it quite right, of course, but it is perfect for people who just want to leave their thermostat on auto without having to tinker with the temperature constantly. Similarly, you can create your own schedules using the Nest app. If you want to save energy, you can set the thermostat to turn down while you're asleep, then come on and warm things up just shortly before you get up. If you're going to be away for a week, you can also lower the temperature for that. The great thing about Nest is that even if you forget to turn the thermostat down before you leave, you can adjust it from anywhere inside the app. While you can control every aspect of the Nest Learning Thermostat inside the app, there's also physical on-device controls too. You can use the outer ring to adjust temperature or change your settings. As the name indicates, the Nest Learning Thermostat learns about your home and your habits and can help you save energy. In its learning period, it takes note of when you raise or lower the temperature or when people are home or away. The data is then aggregated to help optimize your energy use, keeping you warm or air-conditioned when you need it, and adjusting for lower energy use when you don't. When you see a green leaf displayed on the device, you'll know you're at an energy saving temperature level. There's lots of other display options too on the Nest device. The screen display can be set to the current or your target temperature. It can show weather, a clock, or just shut it off. You can also keep track of your past energy uses through the Nest Home Report that's sent to you each month. The Nest thermostat has some pretty cool features, and one of the main reasons I wanted this device is for the safety mode feature. As a frequent traveler, I have come home twice to a dead furnace in the middle of winter. Now, thankfully, that didn't lead to any pipes bursting or any serious damage, but I probably won't be so lucky in the future. Safety mode will activate your furnace even if it's set to off before it goes below a preset temperature and this can keep your pipes from freezing. You'll get a push notification on your phone or tablet as well as a message inside the Nest app. Once temperatures return to normal, another notification will let you know. The third generation of Nest Learning Thermostat is an improvement from previous models. It's always had the home and away feature which uses motion sensors to detect whether you're still inside the house. If you're away, it'll switch it to eco mode to help you conserve energy. Now, in previous generations of the thermostat, the sensor wasn't really able to detect so well if you were home or just in other parts of the house, and that would cause the system to switch to eco mode automatically, even though you were still home. But in this new model here, there is geofencing, and that geofencing feature can sense if you and your phone are home. Once you leave with the connected phone, it'll switch to away mode. A cool feature called Farsight changes how the device wakes up. In previous models, you had to be directly in front of the device for it to wake up. Now it'll wake up and show you whatever you've chosen as soon as you enter the room. 
With the time to temp feature, the Nest Learning Thermostat will tell you how long it will take to get your home to your desired temperature. If your nest is located in a place that gets a lot of direct sunlight, it's not going to interfere anymore with the temperature settings. The Nest now uses what's called the sunblock feature to prevent the system from turning on or off due to the heat from ambient sunlight. Filter reminders are a handy feature that can help you keep track of when to change your system's air filter, because I always forget. Other thermostats have filter alerts that'll remind you at set times, for instance, once a month, but the Nest thermostats use how often your system is running to estimate when you really need a filter reminder. So if you don't turn the cooling on much in the summer, you may go months without a reminder from your Nest thermostat. But if it's a very cold winter and the heating runs a lot, you may get reminders more often. What's the temperature in hallway? Heating is set to 19 with a current temperature of 24.5. The Nest Learning Thermostat works with your digital voice assistant, whether that's Google or Alexa, giving you hands-free voice control. Okay, so what have I noticed after several weeks using the Nest Learning Thermostat here in my home? To be honest, not a lot yet. The truth is, this is a long-term play for most homeowners. You're not gonna notice dramatic energy savings in a week or probably even a month. Over a year, maybe. Over a couple of years, definitely, that's going to add up. But there are also a lot of other reasons a Nest Learning Thermostat is a good idea. The safety mode is a biggie. The automatic adjustments and that eco mode mean that you don't have to micromanage your heating or cooling, plus the ability to remotely access the thermostat, that's a huge plus. If you already have a Nest, should you upgrade? Great question, and the answer is probably not. The third generation Nest Learning Thermostat is a small step up from its predecessors with some improvements like the geofencing and the home and away feature and that safety mode. Overall though, I found it really easy to set up, really easy to use, and for me, it has worked where no other smart thermostat has in my home. It's easy to use and can learn your schedule on its own. I can't really find any downsides to the Nest Learning Thermostat. I imagine some folks will say that it's the price, and they're probably right about that. It is going to take you probably years before this thermostat pays for itself. Though if it is able to warn you once about a potential freeze in your house, for example, it'll probably pay for itself in deductible money. In short, I am very glad to have a Nest Learning thermostat in my home. It feels like a solid insurance policy and one that should pay dividends in the long run. I will have to report back in a year or two on what the overall energy savings are like. If you want to read more about the Nest Learning thermostat, you can head over to blog.bestbuy.ca where we've posted a full write-up and you can ask us any questions you have either there on the blog or, as always, here on the YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching this video. I'm Erin. Until the next time, you can catch me on either Twitter or Instagram. I'm at ErinLYYC. Don't forget, if you like this video and found it helpful, to please hit that like button and give us a sub, because it does help us keep making more videos that we hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, and learn from. And one last reminder, you can catch me on Facebook at facebook.com slash techgadgetscanada. Uh -huh.